Windows 10 officially died today, and Linux distros are throwing a party. Zorin OS 18 dropped the same day, targeting 240 million orphaned PCs that can't run Windows 11. But if you're on Zorin 17.3 from seven months ago, should you even care? The obvious stuff first. Zorin 18 gets rounded corners, a floating panel, lighter colors, the taskbar hovers above your screen like it's too cool to touch the bottom edge, files app reorganized, settings redesigned, new camera app, Visually nicer, but nothing revolutionary. Here's where it gets interesting. Zorn 18 introduces advanced window tiling powered by Tiling Shell. Drag a window to the top and predefined layouts appear. Thirds, quarters, asymmetrical splits, custom layouts, keyboard shortcuts. For multitaskers, this actually matters. The web apps tool turns any website into a desktop app. Microsoft Office 365, Google Docs, Adobe Photoshop web version, all become standalone applications. It's borrowed from Linux Mint, but integrated beautifully. Plus OneDrive through online accounts means cloud files live in your file manager. For Windows refugees, this solves real migration headaches. Performance-wise, it's built on Ubuntu 24.04 with Linux kernel 6.14 versus 17.3's older foundation. Updated NVIDIA drivers, Pipewire audio for lower Bluetooth latency, general responsiveness improvements. Infrastructure upgrades that matter. Windows app compatibility expanded from 150 to 170 detected installers. Launch a Windows app and Zorin intelligently suggests native alternatives or web versions. Thoughtful friction reduction for switchers. But here's the catch. Zorin OS 18 Pro costs $48. One time, but only for version 18. When Zorin 19 drops, you pay again. Compare that to free alternatives like Linux Mint or Fedora. Core Edition is free with Essentials, but locked features taunt you. Pro adds 12 layouts versus 4, premium apps like Deskflow and Warp. Worth it if you need those tools, annoying paywall otherwise. Long-term support until June 2029 is solid. That's nearly four years of patches. Version 17.3 gets support until June 2027, so you're buying two extra years. The verdict depends on your situation. On Windows 10 facing obsolescence, Zorin 18 makes migration easier. Already on Zorin 17.3, the upgrade isn't urgent. Visual tweaks and tiling are nice, not essential. Wait for the direct upgrade path to stabilize in coming weeks. If you're considering Linux alternatives, test the free Core Edition first. Zorin's polish is undeniable, and they nail the Windows familiar experience. But that $48 Pro price stings when others give you everything up front. If this helped you decide smarter, good. I investigate operating systems so you know what actually matters versus marketing hype. Drop your Windows migration stories below. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. 
Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.